everyone. I'm Dr. Shalu Haseen Gagneja, Senior Consultant Rheumatology at Manipal Hospital, Gurugram. So today I would be talking about what is rheumatology and what does a rheumatologist deal with. So rheumatology is a branch that deals with various kinds of arthritis and autoimmune disorders. There are more than 100 kinds of arthritis and various autoimmune disorders and these if treated at the right time can prevent complications which at times can be life threatening. Now what is arthritis? Arthritis is pain and swelling in any joint and it is a manifestation of a disease and not per se a disease. So whenever anyone has pain and swelling in the joint you should take it as a warning sign that you might develop a systemic disorder and early treatment can prevent complications. Arthritis is a disease which can happen at any age starting from small children to elderly people. The most common cause of arthritis is rheumatoid arthritis which is seen more commonly in females especially middle-aged females here, the presenting complaint is pain and swelling in the small joints of hands and feet, which is more in the morning typically with morning stiffness and gets better with activity and as the day progresses. So, if these symptoms are there, you should look for a rheumatologist and start your treatment as soon as possible to prevent complications such as deforming joints and damaging of joints. Then, Another common arthritis is gout, which is again seen more commonly in males. It presents as acute severe pain of one single joint generally. can involve any joint, but generally it involves one single joint. Here again, it is caused by increased uric acid levels in the body and prompt treatment can resolve the symptoms and prevent complications. So these were the common arthritis but there are more than 100 kinds of arthritis namely lupus or SLE, scleroderma, ankylizing spondylitis, vasculitis and the list goes on. These arthritis or rheumatological disorders can involve any part of the body starting from the head up to the toe. Coming to the head, the brain can be involved, there can be decreased vision, headache and stroke. Then there can be redness of the eyes, pain and swelling in the eyes. There can be oral ulcers and dryness of the mouth. There can be breathing difficulties, chest pain which can attribute involvement of the lungs. The kidneys can also be involved in autoimmune disorders leading to loss of protein in the kidney or the urine. Then there can be muscular pains, muscle weakness, difficulty in walking, rashes over the body, blood from vomit or blood in the cuff. So if any of these symptoms are present along with pain and swelling in the joints, we should suspect that you are having a rheumatological disorder and should reach your doctor as soon as possible because some of these diseases are life threatening and if not treated at the right time can lead to high mortality and morbidity. So my aim of this talk is to make aware people of rheumatological disorders so that they can reach their doctor at the right time and take the treatment to prevent complications. Thank you.